Hey everyone, how you doing? Uh, the Lord gave me a word and it is powerful. And you'll see why. Um, what does the Bible say? For the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. That's why Jesus came, right? So how does a devil get somebody to, how does he steal, kill, and destroy? Well, the answer is, by trying to get you to speak the wrong thing because he knows that life and death are in the power of the tongue, okay? How did Jesus defeat Satan when he was, you know, when he was fasting for 40 days? He said, it is written, okay? So he used the word of God and defeated Satan immediately, okay? The word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any double-edged sword. So the words you speak are powerful, okay? Uh, imagine if you are a parent and you speak the wrong things over your kids and you tell, you tell them that they're stupid, okay? Sometimes people do that and then they wonder why the kids fail at school. It's because subconsciously that word that you spoke is going into them, okay? And then subconsciously they believe it. They might not say it. But then all of a sudden they're not doing so well, you know, and then they fail. And then you wonder, wow, you really are stupid. And then you start speaking the wrong thing again, right? So uh, watch the words you speak, okay? Because you might speak, uh, death and life are in the power of the tongue. So you can speak, there's life and death, blessing and cursing. If you speak life, you'll have life. If you speak positive things you'll have positive things if you speak negatively you'll have that okay um, that's what the enemy wants you to do he'll use people to say things to you and if you believe it then it's like you're receiving that word okay so don't receive that word and when the enemy tries to do something by putting pain on your body don't confess that you have the flu or something like that just rebuke it and say satan get out of here you know, I bind you in the name of Jesus. That's why Jesus said, I'll give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, okay? Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven, okay? So those are the keys. Uh, you got to watch what you speak. You speak blessing. That's why you speak to the ailment. You know, if, if there's cancer, you speak to the cancer and say, I curse you in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus on you right now. I command you to die. You're speaking at the thing, okay? So you speak. You use your authority. That's what Jesus did, okay? The Bible says that you have been risen with Christ and you are seated with him in the heavenlies far above all powers and principalities that you are seated with him, in him, okay? Your life is found in him. And where is he seated? At the right hand of the Father, the position of authority. So you have the authority to speak words from heaven, okay? And when the enemy comes, you say, no, 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 it is written. Why? Because that word is more powerful than any double-edged sword. It's quick and powerful, okay? So it doesn't take a long time. It goes right to work. Pow! It contains power, okay? And Jesus said, I am come that you might have life, and life more abundantly. How do you have life and life more abundantly? You know what you have by the word of God. And then you speak it by the Holy Spirit. Okay. You speak the word. You know, you don't notice every time that you're about to have a breakthrough. The enemy comes and tries to get you confess that it's not working. And then all of a sudden you say the wrong thing. And before you know it, you wonder why it didn't happen. Well, you just... You're trying to he's trying to get you to cancel it out he's trying to get you to steal he's trying to steal kill and destroy uh the dreams the vision everything okay that's why the enemy's always attacking he's going to use people and don't we you know right we don't wrestle against flesh and blood but against powers and principalities so it's not the people they're just uh submissive to the wrong spirit right so they're submissive to the wrong spirit and then they speak the wrong thing and then they try to use that power of that word 
against you and they should hold their tongue, right? They should bridle their tongue. That's why gossip's bad. That's why negative speaking's bad. That's why that happened to Job, okay? So make sure when you speak, you speak blessings over your family. You speak blessings over your marriage. You speak blessings over your finances. You speak blessings over your kids, your husband, your wife, everything, okay? So watch what you speak because if you speak the wrong thing, you just might get it, okay? But if you speak the positive things, then you have life and you have life more abundantly. So remember, he said, you have life and you have death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life, okay? How do you choose it? As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So you choose to speak the words that are life. Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, okay? So when you get a negative word, don't receive it. You know, just say, no, I bind that word in the name of Jesus. That's not for me. I don't want it and I don't have to have it. Go somewhere else. Glory be to God. The word of God says this, you know, Someone might say, you're a sinner. And you say, nah, uh while you were yet sinners, Christ died for you. That means we're not anymore, okay? So don't think that you are cursed anymore. He hung on the tree and took all the curses for you. You don't have to receive those things, okay? You don't have to say that God must be teaching me a lesson. No, he came to give you life and life more abundantly. He, he gave you his word, his promise, the word of God. So use the Word of God and use it in every circumstance, okay? And meditate on it day and night and you will make your way prosperous and have good success, okay? And you will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water whose root is strong and whose leaves shall not wither, okay? You'll be constantly fed. You'll be like someone on the vine. You are the leaves or you are the branches. He is the vine. And if without him, you're like dried up, okay? And men shall trample you under feet. But if you stay in the vine and you stay connected, you know, you keep reading the word of God, you keep in prayer, you keep confessing the word of God, you will have life and life more abundantly and you will see a change in your, in your life even now, okay? So hold your tongue before you speak the wrong thing Think about it and only speak what God gave you to speak. Don't speak what the enemy's trying to get you to speak because he wants you to lose your uh, breakthrough, your blessing, okay? You have life and death, blessing, okay? And then there's cursing, which we don't have to have, okay? But when you speak the right thing, you have blessing. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I hope you got something out of this. I know I did. And the words just started flowing and it's coming right from God himself. So glory be to God. I love you and thank you for listening. See you next time.